Taurus. Welcome Taurus. Taurus, we're going to do a general. Let's get right into it. I know this is late coming in, <clears throat> but hey, it is what it is. Uh, right off the top, Taurus, we're into... <laughs> we're into the Six of Wands. So right now, things are going pretty good for you. Uh, it feels like things are going your way. Uh, people are noticing you, their understanding of what you've got going on, uh, your capabilities and whatnot. <clears throat> With the Six of Pentacles, we see that you're, you're still in your generous nature as well. The Moon card and the Seven of Cups. I'm trying to see through and figure out what the other opportunities there that are around you that you can take advantage of uh, and really make things happen. The Moon card... And the Seven of Cups is just trying to figure out that best direction for you. In that way, you can uh, sort of keep going on with what's happening. It always seems that uh, Piscean energy shows up in a major way um, <clears throat> with work. The other way that there's a possibility of reading this is that... And this only may resonate for one of you, which is fine. I'm... I, I like the following that I have, and I, I'm more than happy to be here and, and share. But with the Six of Wands and the Six of Swords, you're happy doing what you're doing. It seems like there's more gifts that could be coming in from the universe uh, or more blessings. But there's still something on your mind. This is this uh, Moon card and the Seven of Cups. This could be that you are still wondering about um, some type of relationship uh, with a Pisces and how that's actually still confusing you to some degree. Now, if we look, and I keep in mind that could just be for one of you, maybe even a half. Um, when we look to the desire, the Queen of Swords shows up, followed by the Four of Pentacles, the Wheel. And the Empress. You're really being uh, in your head about things. Or you really want to be critical about the things that you've, you've lost uh, in time. Is what I'm hearing. And with the Empress here, it's like, okay, how do I... How do I get things moving forward? to the level of um, abundance that you're desiring with the Empress here. Now, looking forward <clears throat> past that, where you're going through that sort of, again, confusion as to what to do, and we saw that earlier with the Seven of Cups. The uh, We're looking at the, oh, interesting. We have the Page of Cups coming out in the outcome possible outcome, followed by the Queen of Wands, the Four of Cups, the King of Wands, Three of Wands. This whole... There's an offer that may come in. There can be an offer, some type of message, an apology maybe, a minor flirtation. Queen of Wands, Four of Cups, King of Wands, it may make you feel pretty good, but are you really going to take action towards it because of how you're focusing on your future with the Three of Wands here? For others of you, um, whatever this offer is, it can be tied to love. But you might be going, eh, you know what? I'm really good focusing on my money, my things that I want to do in my life. You know, it would be great to have a partner. But, eh, you know, as long as they don't sidetrack you. Now, what's working for you is we have the Hermit. Now, the Hermit is one of those individuals that can go back, go with inside, and really puzzle out what's going on for themselves. <clears throat> and we see that, that you're doing that at this particular moment. 
what this is about is the Nine of Cups, Lovers, Nine of Wands, and Eight of Swords. We're seeing a lot of duality in your read today. So, you're really trying to figure out what you want in your life at this particular point. Really, where is your... Where do you feel successful? And we see where that happens is actually in relationship with the lover's card. You've been burned. You may not really know what to do at this particular point in time, but it is still on your mind. Where is that person? Where is your person? And how you want that to shake out. Now, what you need to be aware of is taking action towards the future. We have the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So really chasing down what's going to go on in the future, choosing where you want to go with that. The Five of Swords, the Chariot, and the Five of Pentacles, again, we're seeing, seeing that duality. We've had nines, we've had threes, we've had fives. Um, we have the King and Queen of um, wands so as you're chasing down that future part of it seems like a no win situation with the five of swords and the five of pentacles but your determination is what's going to get you through you may not know how to win this battle but you are more than willing to put yourself out there and chase that down for the betterment of others now when we look for a couple more cards there is uh, still stress going on for you we're seeing that stress show up in the nine of swords ace of wands and the knight of pentacles so looking at that you know you may be wondering you know how do i get to this part where um, what is the best way to do things where's the best place to be you know how do you start a life and continue making the things happen that you want to. There could be a new start, new job coming through with the Ace of Wands, uh, and then the Knight of Pentacles. So, are you just gonna keep doing what you're doing or will you jump at this chance? <clears throat> the Nine of Swords, this is just you thinking it out, making sure you've crossed you know, all your T's, dotted your I's, and that the grammar's even correct. So, a lot that is going on here for you uh, we do have three nines on the table, which is interesting. Um, like I said, there's this whole duality that's taking place, Taurus. But it seems like your focus is really towards uh, the future, um, the next couple of years out type of thing. Um, for some of you, it may just be what's going to go on in the next six months. So, Taurus, that's what I've got for you today. Feel free to let me know how this is resonating for you. And we will see you next time. Stay safe.